up guys, Yusuf Shah from TechDroids and Intel recently launched a lot of stuff. They finally refreshed their Kibble 8 lineup of CPUs, they've launched the new i3s and the i5s, also the new Celerons and the Pentiums. And they finally came out with budget Coffee Lake motherboards, the new H310, the H370 and also the B360M chipsets. So yeah, in this video let's talk about all of those, what they mean to you, should you really care, should you wait for them or upgrade to something else like AMD. And yeah, I'm not going to be talking about the nitty gritty specs and the details of everything. For that, you'll have to wait for my PC builds. And also you can check the description down below for more details. If you want to go into and learn more about each thing that I talk about, then you need to click that link. And yeah, with that being said, drop this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and hit that notification thingy so you don't miss out on uploads from TechDroids. But with that being said, let's get started. So the first and the foremost thing, the new Coffee Lake refresh. So Intel has finally come out with a lot of new CPUs for their desktops. So they've launched the new i3s and two new i5s starting from $132 going up to $213. So you know the i3s will have four core four threads and the i5s will have six core six threads. And these are really good CPUs if you're planning not to overclock and just want some decent performance for a really good price. So these are pretty budget friendly. Also, you have the new Celerons and the new Pentium. So the new Pentium Gold series, starting from the 5400 going up to the 5600, starting from 64 US dollars going up to 86 US dollars. The Celerons are not that interesting, but if you are planning to build a very low powered, you know, decent productivity build, the Celerons might help as well. So you have the 4800 and the 4920. These are not the most interesting CPUs for gamers, but yeah, Intel has finally launched them. So go ahead, check them out. They also came out with six new low powered CPUs with T in the name. So you have the i3-8300T. Now these are low power 35 watt TDP chips. Again, these are not very interesting for the gamers as well, but they're you know kind of expensive and they're not offering that much of power or price to performance. And I don't see where Intel is going with these low power chips, they don't perform that great and they don't cost that cheap as well. And I'd be surprised if you're a gamer and you'd be interested in these low power chips. But something that we were all waiting for is the new Coffee Lake motherboards or the budget Coffee Lake motherboards. Starting off with B360, H310, H370, also there is Q370 but that's only corporate. So those are only meant for like, you know, business owners and stuff but not for consumers. The B360 is, you know, the middle ground. The H370 is kind of high end, the H310 is kind of cornered, like it's the lowest you can get. No M.2, you know, not a lot of PCI slots, only PCI Gen 2.0 rather than PCI Gen 3.0 in B360 and also H370. There's no overclocking in these budget motherboards, so you'll have to go up to H370 if you want to overclock. But these motherboards will be cheaper, they will have, you know, the fundamentals like USB 3.0 and also the B360 and the H370 have opt-in memory support. Intel's smart technology, virtualization, all sorts of you know high-end stuff that you would only find in, the, in like you know really expensive motherboards. That's all coming down to the cheaper market, and yeah, these motherboards are pretty much interesting for everyone looking to build a Coffee Lake gaming PC. But when it comes to gaming, there are no GPUs, so I don't know how we would do that as well. But you guys should wait for my builds. They're coming out soon with the new Coffee Lake CPUs and using the new budget motherboards. Also, when Ryzen 2 comes out, my PC will, will be out, so you should subscribe for that. And I hope this video was helpful because that's it for this one. If you want to learn more about, you know, the things that I talked about, links in the description down below. Go check it out. You'll get all the nitty gritty, you know, specs and details. It's just, you know, confusing for you guys if I would just, you know, blabber out all the details, all the clock speeds and all the core counts and stuff like that on this video. So I'd say if you are interested in any of these things, go ahead, check the link in the description down below. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to TechDroids for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and peace. Silky Bean!